Hey guys, Flick here, and welcome back to another installment of Landon Donovan's Road to the U.S. Men's National Team. Super happy to have this series back on the channel, and for now, I'll keep the episodes at once a week. If I do manage to find the time to post more videos, I'll move it to twice a week, and that way we can progress through the series nicely. But if you guys are enjoying this series and want to let me know, go ahead and leave a like down below, and if you want, you can drop a comment as well, leaving any player suggestions you want or future recommendations for this series. Going into this episode, we've started to break into a silver side, but we do have a lot of work to do if we want to complete this silver side by the end of this episode, but to be completely honest, I'm pretty happy with this team. Davies and Donovan up front are scoring a lot of goals, and hopefully that can continue in this episode. Let's get into our first match. Hopping into our first match, our opponent had a full Serie A side with Carlos Tevez mixed in. Really like those Argentine links. And props to my opponent for making a pretty cool squad. But he starts things off with Dybala cutting inside. He's got played across to Marquezio. Marquezio tries a shot, falls really luckily to Pereira, and he's going to make it 1-0 for my opponent. Not a good start for us, but here, Redmond's going to make a good steal, and our bronze center back makes this pass. And what a pass it was. I don't think he could have placed it any better. Putting it between the defense and between the goalkeeper. And of course, Land Donovan's not going to miss from there. I think counterattacks are probably our most efficient way of scoring. Especially with these low rated teams. Donovan is still able to stick out. And he's just quicker than those goal defenders. But right after kickoff, my opponent does a couple of good passes. Makes his way down the... Down the pitch, uh, but we do manage to get the ball back, and now Ship's gonna play it through. Donovan with a good touch to beat his defender, and now he's through on goal right here. What's he gonna do? He's gonna play it across, and that is a classy finish by Davies to make it two to one for us, and we had the advantage over our opponent, but he comes right back, falls the nine goal, and look at that for a shot. There's no way our keeper's gonna get to that. He puts it in the top left hand corner. We were looking to get a goal before halftime. Ship, a couple of good moves to get around some of his defenders, plays it inside. We really should have done better with that header. He put it on a plate, just had a knot at home. But here, Ariebe trying to get a goal back, falls to Davies, and again, he's going to put it in the back of the net. Davies stepping up and getting just about as many goals as Donovan has been scoring. You can take a look at the stats. I think we deserve the lead going into halftime, but jumping into the second half, not too much happened until the 86th minute. I'm trying to hang on. Pretty sure I was on ultra defensive. And then Carlos Tevez goes and finishes that one on the near post. Unfortunate stuff. We're going to have to go into extra time. It's 3-all. We had the advantage in the shots, the possession, shots on target. But hey, what can you do? And here my opponent, he finds Pereira again. Good fake shot to set up some space. He's going to put that in the far corner. And I did not have a good feeling at this point. Carlos Tevez, once again, using his pace, getting by some of those defenders. And of course, he's just going to play it across. And it's an easy finish for him. It's Pereira once again. We seem to come up against him so often. It's 5-3 to three at this point. Had to go ultra attacking. And Gall actually does an incredible job to get around his players here with, like, no stamina left. He just does some good moves, plays it inside. Donovan hits the post, but Davies once again in the right place at the right time. Making it 5-4. The match does end at 5-4. And we're going to have to downgrade our lowest rated player, which was our keeper. As has been the general trend for this series, we cannot seem to catch a break in matches that go to extra time. We lose it once again, losing this one 5-4, meaning we're going to have to downgrade our lowest rated player, which no surprise, it was our keeper, letting up five goals. I thought Clark played pretty well. Uh, my opponent did have a lot of chances, and he saved quite a few of them, but we're going to have to downgrade him back to our bronze keeper, and it's going to be Perk. He wasn't a bad player either, so it's not too bad of a downgrade, but I would have liked to keep Clark in the team. However, our silver attack is still intact. Let's get into our next game and try to get some upgrades. Our next opponent had a full Premier League side. He didn't exactly have the highest rate of players mixed in there, with the exception of Yaya Torre and Otamendi, but he had a lot of players that played really well in game, including Villian, including Remy, Begovic, just to name a few. And once again, the game did not start well for us. Villian banging in and off the post, making it 1 0 for our opponent. But we came right back only a couple minutes later, and it's Jimenez, our right back, pushing up the pitch and just managing to maneuver between those defenders. Puts it on a play for Donovan. He cannot put it away. Couldn't believe that at the time. All he had to do was stick it in the corner. Uh, but Donovan, kind of disappointing there. Uh, Pedro with the ball for my opponent. And we did well to take it away a couple of times. But we just could not clear it out. Perk makes an incredible save. And we're going to manage to finally clear that one out of there. But the ambush was still on for my opponent. And this is one of the silliest moments I've seen throughout this series. No idea what our keeper was doing. Just had to pick up the ball. But of course, my opponent's going to put it right down the middle. Makes it 2-0 for himself. 
and I was a little bit salty to go into halftime, 2-0 down. You know, we didn't create too many chances, but I felt like we deserved at least one goal, and surely my opponent didn't deserve that second goal. But we push on right into the second half, and Donovan gets a chance here and has a long shot from outside the box and blasts that one by the keeper. No way Begovic is going to be able to stop that one. The game was on at this point. We just had to steal the ball back, and with 13 minutes left to play, we had a good chance right here. Ship playing it through to Davies, and he had a chance to square it across. Kind of messed this one up, though. I was trying to shoot, but he ended up doing the tackle instead. And with three minutes left, this was pretty much our last chance in the game. Acosta finding Davies. He sees the open man. Gall misses it, but tracks the ball down and puts it away. Some great effort by our right mid to have the second effort and manage to put that one away, tie things up. And we're going to be going into extra time. I couldn't believe that goal at the time. I was just so impressed with a rare bronze player getting that kind of goal. And that's the kind of goal I like to see. Looking at the stats, we turned things around in the second half. The possession was back in our favor. We were getting some shots. And I felt like we had the momentum going into extra time. And that was to be told by the showcasing of events. There, we get a good goal through Davies. Just a good turn, good finish. Not much else I can say about that one. And Donovan pushing down the wing here. Plays this one through to Davies. And Davies does a nice fake shot to create some more space. Manages to keep the possession. Plays it through once again. And this time, we're going to cross in the middle. Davies. That's the kind of runs he can make, and he just shows up every single match. He's starting to become a preferred striker to Donovan at this point. But we managed to win the game by two goals, and Davies gets the man of the match, picking up two of the goals, and Donovan contributed to only one of the goals in that match, meaning we're going to get a total of three upgrades. A good win for us there is we win the match by two goals and Donovan contributed to one of the goals, meaning we're going to get a total of three upgrades for our next match. And our first order of business is getting Clark back into the team. We just need a silver goalkeeper in this squad, so let's get him into the team and hopefully concede less goals in the future. We're also going to be upgrading another player to defense. Our right center back is going to be swapped out for a silver center back. It's going to be a do 71 pace, 73 defending, and 78 physical on him. Should be a nice addition to our defense. And lastly, we're going to upgrade our left mid. And you guys will remember him. It's going to be Let Jet, who's got the four-star skills, four-star weak foot, and 71 pace. So hopefully he can show off those skills in future episodes and future matches. Let's get into our next game. Our final opponent for today's episode had a Liga MX and Mexican team hybrid. Pretty cool looking team. Hunter Chemistry, of course, and some OP players mixed in there. And the first opportunity in the game finally goes to us after conceding a couple of times in our first couple matches. Acosta gets taken down from behind inside the penalty area, meaning Donovan has a chance to get himself a goal. Gets it in the green, gonna put it off to the right, but his keeper makes an incredible save. Probably should have placed that penalty kick a bit better, but it was nil nil still. And now it's Let's Jet. Passing the ball around and finds Donovan. Donovan plays it through to ship, and this one is going to be put in the back of the net. Good finish by him, making it 1-0 for us in the 18th minute, and just a couple minutes later, we get another chance. It's going to be Davies. Does a nice move to create some space. Now to ship, and through to Donovan. Can he make it 2-0? Gets this one on the near post, and he's going to get it by, of course. And we're coasting at this point. Donovan and Davies doing some good link-up play, but my opponent trying to get back into the game. A little bit of lag here as we push on to the 28th minute. He tries to sweat this one across, but what a block by our defender. I think that was Remick, who plays really well for a bronze uh, left back. He made that great pass in the first match and great block right there in our final match. But eventually my opponent did manage to get a goal just before halftime, making the game 1-2 to two going into half. We still had the advantage in terms of shots and possession, so I still felt good going to the second half, but my opponent gets the first opportunity here in the 70th minute. Not much happened here in the first couple minutes of the second half, but he's going to try to play this one across and there is someone unmarked on the edge of the box, and that is just not going to work. He's going to tie it up 2-2, two two, and 80 minutes into the game, we get a chance here. It's going to be Remick, again, pushing up the pitch, and he's going to be able to find someone on the far post. Again, someone unmarked, and Chip just puts it into the side of the net, giving us the lead, and ultimately, that's going to give us the win. 3-2, to two, meaning we're going to get one upgrade for that, and also one upgrade for Donovan, contributing to two of the goals in the match. That was a close match, but we just managed to etch out a win, and since we won the game by one goal and Donovan contributed to two of the goals, we're going to manage to get two upgrades before the end of this episode. First order of business is upgrading our right mid. We're going to get Julian Green into the side, and that's going to be a nice addition for us. Of course, a World Cup goal scorer and a promising young player for the U.S. men's national team, so hopefully he can make his impact on this series. 
And next up, we're also going to be finishing up our center back duo, getting another silver defender in there. You guys might have seen it from earlier, but we're going to pick up none other than Matt Miazga, the now Chelsea player, who may well have a Chelsea card in Ultimate Team. But we'll be sticking with Miazga's Red Bulls card because, hey, it gets better chemistry anyways. But guys, that's going to wrap up today's episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like down below. Drop a comment with future player suggestions you'd like me to use. Subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.